On this episode of DPV, I'm putting my eye rocks on some beadlocks. Tire lube, uh, Napo Ruglide. So the other day I tried to put in stems without this little tool. Um, got this on Amazon, I think it was like 10 bucks. Came with some other tire tool parts, but uh, we'll link it below. Uh, but it pulls the stem in real easy. These Battleborn wheels. Uh, it's a 516 uh, grade 8 bolt. We're going to torque them two times. First time to 10 uh, foot pounds, second time to 18. Uh, and as you see, there's a few of them, so uh, this could take a second. I realize it's pretty early to give a review on these, but my initial review is that these are really well built. Everything seems really top quality from the packaging to like the, even like the instructions are printed on super nice paper. It, I don't know, everything just looks, seems nice. So to set the bead, uh, also in that tire tool kit, came one of these. I like these way better than the caps with the little forks on them. Uh, the screwdriver tipped valve stem removal tool. Uh, added air while I was pushing down on it and it seated the back side. Sweet. I think I got like five PSI in it right now, but uh, with these bead locks, with it just being a single bead uh, bead lock, I should be able to go down to like four, four or five PSI. And uh, yeah, so tower one done, three to go. So on your on at least on these tires, there is a ring 
in the rubber. That is what I'm using to kind of center up this my make sure my tire is centered on the the wheel. See how you can kind of see that right there? It's got a little bit eighth inch gap or so. Close right there. Alright. So I'm gonna leave you here. I'm gonna put these ones back on and we'll uh join you up in a minute. Tire two done. Alright, uh the wheels that I'm mounting up are these uh Battleborn uh gatekeepers. These uh couple I went with these for a couple reasons. One, I wanted like a classic look. I've heard these called like um, rotary dials or uh phone dials. These uh I didn't want like a new flashy style wheel. I wanted something classic and um, something that looked good. So, and affordability. I believe these were $249 from uh, Off Road Power Products in Spokane, Washington. Uh, and then they sh ship free to my house. So, yeah, for uh, a good looking beadlock, I believe these were about the most affordable option I could go with. I think they, I think they look good. I think they look real good wrapped in eye rocks. I had thought about powder coating this outer ring to color match the uh, final color on the Bronco and I might down the road do that but for now I just wanted to get these mounted up and looking at them now I think they do I think they look really they look real sharp with that with the ring of the um, uh, plated bolts so all right let's get this third one mounted up zip this ring off new fancy catch can Just threw the last stem in. I'm gonna lube up this tire. Oh, Evan! Thank God you brought lube! All right, well, there you have it. There are, got all four of my tires mounted up. My 42 inch IROX on these Battleborn beadlocks. Well, uh, hopefully next time you see these tires, I'll be on the back of the Bronchosaurus. Need to clean out some stuff in here. Saw that motor, so I got some space to bring the Bronco in here and I'll get these mounted up. Some of the tools that I use today will be in the uh, description below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, buy our sweet merch. Until next time.